excuse me. Hi, uh, we're back. Uh, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, and we're at the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center in beautiful downtown Berkeley. We had just been raided by the police at approximately 5.30 this morning. Uh, the total surprise. For all my anger, you know, I really do love them, and I hope they get better. Yeah. Coffee, well, thank sir. you, my sir. <laughs> that I'm was right much back. needed. Thanks a lot. So I'm juggling a camera, a cigarette, and my coffee. But uh, thanks for having us up on Global Occupy Network. We're always, you're always welcome. Uh, we're out here dealing with cops. Actually, not so much. Uh, the sun's starting to rise. Let me get a couple of sips of coffee. We're here on the steps. Uh, personally, I don't plan on leaving today. Uh, so, uh, you know, they'll have to arrest me and take me away. Oh, before they get my coffee, they get me and arrest me in the morning, try to arrest me. Well, the police were kind of cordial this morning, at least, and I had them help me uh, take down my tent. Uh, small wonder, I guess. I'm lucky that I don't live in a, well, any place is fascist, but a more fascist place because they would have just run the tent and beat us up. And so, you know, we did have some progress on that kind of level. Yeah, Susie. Damn, we're down here. Been raided by the police. I've been embedded with this group of homeless folks, my friends. Uh, I want an invitation to come here and document some of the abuses of the police department here in Berkeley. Uh, as compared to the first time they raided us, which was very violent, uh, where people were sent to the hospital, uh, this particular raid was very peaceful. Um, and the police were very helpful and polite. Although uh, they do uh, want to write a check on you, and you know, fortunately, uh, you know, I'm warrantless, so I'm clean. But we've got a group of about, I don't know, 12, 12 to 15 people that are on the opposite corner. I can't get to it right now, uh, nor I'm going to try. Yes, we're not going away anytime soon. You can count on that. It is rather chilly out here this morning uh, by California standards. You know, just because you pushed us out of a spot doesn't mean that we're going away because we are not going to leave until the problem is dealt with. So count on more of these raids if you're a cop. And quite personally, I don't mind because it makes our cause stronger. That's my thoughts. You know, we were getting a little complacent. You know, we were assured by the mayor, Jesse Aragorn, the new mayor, that uh, we were not going to get raided. So basically, uh, we believe that this is a fuck you from Master Tom Bates, Master Bates is all we like to call him here in Berkeley. Uh, we believe that this is a giant fuck you from his administration on the way out. Wind is blowing at about 30 miles an hour. That on the mic. Right, I just had a bunch of uh, people that were working in his administration. Oh, well, we're going to be watching you, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, more liberal bullshit from the liberals themselves, right? Liberals are not to be trusted ever in a uh, direct action. So learn that as a lesson, folks. Whenever you're organizing direct actions, do not trust the words of liberal because in actuality, they don't mean shit. Uh, however well-meaning and well-intended, it doesn't mean shit. And uh, said to my 45, 46 years worth of organizing, 
I have never ever received a fair shake from a liberal. So, fuck the liberals. Fuck this administration. And it looks like we're going to have plenty of work to do here in the coming weeks. Because their word doesn't mean squat to me. Now, we still got the police hanging out. I'm not really sure what they're doing hanging out. The, they do have the site cleared, uh, as far as I can see. We have several of our camp that were with us that do have health problems, uh, which are, can only be exacerbated by this by this raid. Um, you know, personally, I'm in good health and everything, as good health as can be expected from you know, me, and uh, so I'm quite able to weather this. But there are other people that are less fortunate um, that are suffering from health problems that uh, I can see this is starting to uh, affect them. So I do have the street blocked off, Milvia, and also Center Street is completely blocked off. So uh, we're wondering how people are going to get to work in the morning. Not that it matters that much to us, but, you know, it is an issue. Not that I care because I don't plan on going anywhere. Thanks for watching, folks. Berkeley's finest, uh, checking out the the ramp, which they have blocked off. The uh, public works did come and power wash everything. They were real quick, quick about it. I guess they wanted to get everything done before the general public came. Uh, just a little note of why the police come so early in the morning. Uh, number one, that I guess it is a tactic to catch everybody asleep, but even more importantly is that uh, what happens early uh, at five is a shift change. So in order to get enough police officers to come out here and raid us, uh, they have to get the night shift and the morning shift, which requires about 20 police officers, which is a lot for the Berkeley Police Department to muster. And uh, that's why they come out here uh, so early in the morning, is because they want to make sure they have enough officers. And then also to terrorize us in our sleep and wake us up. And had I known, you know, here's what I get for trusting a liberal. 
uh, had I known that the cops were coming, you know, if we were in a state of resident readiness, I would have been up and packed and ready to go within seconds. So uh, they caught me with my pants down, like, you know, uh, this is what I get for, for trusting liberals. Uh, needless to say, I wasn't, I didn't lose any possessions. I don't think anybody lost anything of value this time. Uh, and the police were quite helpful in moving my stuff, and they moved it exactly where I wanted it, without even me really asking. Isn't that amazing? I'm chilly. Burry, ho ho. And it is cold out here by California standards. It's about 45 degrees, and the wind's blowing between 20 and 30 miles an hour. So, this is the way the city of Berkeley treats their homeless. Uh, I'm right here. This is it. I'm it. <laughs> not with you, though. <laughs> Thank God you're here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I uh, no, not to trust a liberal. Uh, I'd have been up and ready to go this morning, you know. Um, they caught us in a, a state of unpreparedness. Oh, yeah. oh my God! And not only that, the way they, the way they, they cordoned off the street so nobody could get in and help you guys, or move, help you move stuff and take things before they hauled it away. I mean, it was really dirty, nasty. Um, you know, and I'm a commissioner, so I said, you know, I'm a commissioner, let me through. And they're, they're like, no, and they're threatening to cite me. And I had to let them, like, get right down to writing, and then I split, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're at the point now where I guess... I don't care about getting cited, but yeah, I was who wants say. to go to court? Who well, wants to waste a day? They'll drop the charges before you even get they there. They will, but still, it's just bullshit. I agree. All right, so we got another police officer who's moving along. Uh, we do expect a police to be out of here for too long. Uh, we're not going anywhere, by the way. And they are pulling out the tape. Uh, for now, yes. Great. Well, just let you know we're not going anywhere. So you know where to find us. Uh-oh. So I guess this means I'm going to start my hunger strike. I made a commitment to start a hunger strike and we got raided again. And uh, that's that's where we're going with this today. So yes, I will be fulfilling my commitment not to eat, to fast. Because I'll have to join you. And, uh, we do have six other women that will be joining us on our fast, so I won't be doing it. Dan and I won't be doing it all by our lonesome. Uh, so we will have a contingent of people. And I'll we are happy prepared. when they put it off. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to miss Thanksgiving dinner, right? <laughs> Well, you can go to work for G4S. I saw one of those guys roaming around yesterday. Do you really want to go to hell? Come on, man. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. I sure I do. I know more about the Lord than you are. No, you don't. don't. You're, you're working for Lucifer right now. You don't think so? You're working for Lucifer right now. Yeah, he's a good Christian soldier. You're a real good Christian. If that's what Christianity is, that's the problem. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of your religion, dude. Yeah, that's not Christian. That's not, that's not what Jesus would do. Yeah, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Would Jesus take a blanket off a man in the middle of the morning? No. Huh? In the middle of the night, would he come out and take a blanket off a man? That's what Jesus, your Jesus does that? Come on. You don't know what you're talking about. God. Ah. Have you actually read the New Testament ever? He's a fucking hypocrite. Have you ever read the New Testament? Ever? No. Quit lying. Yeah, there you go. You don't know. You don't know the Bible like I do. That's traditional Christian bullshit. We don't like Christians either here on this uh, this live stream. You know, they talk, they talk the talk, they talk the talk. But they don't walk the walk. Well, now that the police tape is down. Uh, 
as you can see. I got the fence up here. Sorry for the darkness. There's nothing I can do about the light. Yeah, that was in Mark It Off, chapter, chapter 13. I think that's in the Luciferian Bible. Wrong one. you got to get the right Bible. So it looks like all of our popo are leaving the scene. Man, stand up in church and tell them what you did today. I dare you. I'll come. I'll be there. Any words for our viewers? Well, this is James Carbell. After that raid, uh, I'd like to say that Don't ever call yourself a Christian in my face. We stand in solidarity with the water protectors, Standing Rock. We stand against all those who have been oppressed. We stand with Palestine. And that's an insult. To quite God. frankly, what an insult that way. This is this is just despicable. It's typical of Berkeley Police Department to raid us at five o'clock in the morning, and steal our stuff. We lost lots of gear. Legacy. Spare tents and stuff that we were saving for people that would pass along that needed uh, shelter, sleeping bags, things like that. They just grabbed the storage tents and threw them in the trash truck. There was no itemization of what they took. Um, I have a bad back. Hurry up, hurry up, get out of your tent, hurry up. Uh, it's consistent uh, torture and it's just a treasonous act by the state and right. by the city of Berkeley. I'm with Veterans for Peace and Occupy Veterans San Francisco. Yeah, how do we find you on the web? Uh, you can go to uh, Occupy Veterans San Francisco, check out that website, uh, Independent Citizen Media, and uh, First They Came for the Homeless on Facebook. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Uh, for people who are want updates about what's going on down here, thanks a lot, James. No problem. Be I got a stomach ache. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, people uh, that want to know about what's happening, uh, we do have a Facebook page. First, they came for the homeless. And we're also asking people that are watching to call up the Berkeley City Manager's Office. That number is 510-981-7000. That's the correct number. I gave out the wrong number earlier. That's 510-981-7000. Call the Berkeley City Manager's Office to complain. If you do it more than once, uh, dial star 69 before you dial... The number so that's star 69 510 78 or 981 7000 that's star 69 510 981 7000 call and complain about the treatment of the homeless here in the city of berkeley and one one last thing as our camp was raided just around the corner there is a drug dealing tweaker camp in the park they let them stay there but they attack peaceful protesters that are trying to make a statement requesting the proper services that are supposed to be provided by the Berkeley Food and Housing Project, which are millions of dollars have been given to this uh, so-called homeless hub where one-stop shop, we can get assistance. But I myself have gone in there. They offer a shelter which would separate my family and I from each other. Uh, they would also take our gear and we wouldn't be able to keep it with us. Um, the Berkeley Food and Housing Project is why we're protesting. Millions of dollars given to them, thousands of applicants, and a handful of people helped. All right. The Berkeley Hub, which is the hub for Nowhereville. The director makes $180,000 a year. Yeah, there we go. Poverty in, Pimp. In, in four years' time, she makes nearly a million dollars. Here with the of our camp, as you can see. Yep, and if you rolled around back, you can check out that other camp back there stationed uh, 
right behind City Hall, where the drug dealers are. So, well, we're going to give it a break. Thanks. My hands are frozen. <laughs> Power to the people. All right, thank you there, James. So there you have it, folks. Uh, we're raided this morning. Uh, i got to go check on my stuff. But thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Uh, do join us again. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, raid this morning at 5.30. To a quick recap, uh, we were raided this morning at 5.30 by the Berkeley Police Department. Despite assurances from mayor, the new mayor, Jesse Erwin, that we were not going to be raided. Uh, we believe that this is a big fuck you uh, by Master Bates and his outgoing administration to fuck with us. And uh, right now, our speculation, uh, we're not real sure, but uh, there you have it. And uh, everybody have a great day. Uh, I'm going to be uh, live streaming a little bit later on as soon as I wake up and get it more together. Anyway, love and peace to everybody, and have a great day.